Prithika, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today I'm going to show you how you can stop and start Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances at regular intervals using AWS Lambda and Amazon Event Bridge. Let's get started. First, create a custom AWS identity and access management policy and execution role for your Lambda function. Create Lambda functions that stop and start your EC2 instances. Test your Lambda functions. Create event bridge rules that trigger your function on a schedule. Then follow these steps. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the IAM console. Now let's create an IAM policy and execution role for your Lambda function. Create an IAM policy using the JSON policy editor. Paste the following JSON policy document into the policy editor. Create an IAM role for Lambda. Please note, when attaching a permissions policy to Lambda, make sure that you choose the IAM policy that you just created. Create Lambda functions that stop and start your EC2 instances. In the Lambda console, choose create function, choose author from scratch. Under basic information, add the following. For function name, enter a name that identifies it as the function used to stop your EC2 instances. For example, stop EC2 instances. For runtime, choose Python 3.9. Under permissions, expand change default execution role. Under execution role, choose use an existing role. Under existing role, choose the IAM role that you created. Choose create function. Under code, code source, Paste the following code into the editor pane in the code editor lambda function. This code stops the EC2 instances that you identify. Please note, for region, replace US West 2 with the AWS region where your instances are. For instances, replace the example EC2 instance IDs with the IDs of the specific instances that you want to stop and start. Choose Deploy. On the Configuration tab, choose General Configuration. Edit. Set Timeout to 10 seconds and then select Save. Please note, configure the Lambda function settings as needed for your use case. For example, if you want to stop and start multiple instances, you might need a different value for timeout and memory. Repeat these steps to create another function. Do the following differently so that this function starts your EC2 instances. Enter a different function name than the one you used before. For example, start EC2 instances. Also paste the following code into the editor pane in the code editor lambda function. For region and instances, use the same values that you used for the code to stop your EC2 instances. Choose Deploy. On the Configuration tab, choose General Configuration. Edit. Set Timeout to 10 seconds and then select Save. Test your Lambda functions. In the Lambda console, choose Functions. Choose one of the functions that you created. Select the Code tab. In the Code Source section, select Test. In the Configure Test Event dialog box, choose Create New Event. Enter an event name, then choose Create. Please note, you don't need to change the JSON code for the test event, the function doesn't use it. Choose test again to run the function. 
Repeat these steps for the other function that you created. You can check the status of your EC2 instances before and after testing to confirm that your functions work as expected. Create event bridge rules that trigger your lambda functions. Open the event bridge console. Select create rule. Enter a name for your rule such as stop EC2 instances. Optionally, you can enter a description. Set the event bus option as the default. In rule type option, select schedule and please select option continue to create rule. Please note for using event bridge scheduler, refer to the document mentioned in the knowledge center article. Do either of the following for the schedule pattern. For the cron expression, enter an expression that tells lambda when to stop your instances. For information on expression syntax, see schedule expressions for rules in the knowledge center article. Cron expressions are evaluated in UTC. Make sure that you adjust the expression for your preferred time zone. For the schedule that you want to run at a regular rate, enter an interval of time in minutes, hours or days. Choose next. In target 1, choose AWS service from the target types and select lambda function from the select a target drop down list. For function, choose the function that stops your EC2 instances. Keep the rest of the options as is and then select next. Enter the optional tag name and then choose next. Scroll down and then select create rule. Repeat these steps again to create a rule to start your EC2 instances. However, do the following differently. Enter a name for your rule such as start EC2 instances. For schedule pattern, enter the time or cron expression that tells lambda when to start your instances. For function, choose the function that starts your EC2 instances. In this example, we have set the schedule pattern to start and stop the instance every two minutes. And we can see that the EC2 instance is in stopped state and will start back in two minutes. And now you know how you can stop and start EC2 instances at regular intervals using Lambda and Event Bridge. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.